Welcome to our English lesson today. We will practice our listening and speaking skills. This video is designed for English learners of all levels, providing an immersive experience into real-world scenarios and language usage. Join Mariam's journey, expand your vocabulary, and gain insights into the importance of activism and solidarity. Our story for today is Standing in Solidarity. Asala Malikum, everyone. It's Mariam. And today I want to share an important and powerful experience attending a protest in support of Palestine. My day began with the peaceful Fajr prayer. Afterward, I read the Quran and reflected on my intentions for the day. Today, I felt a strong calling to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Palestine by attending a local protest. After breakfast, I prepared myself for the protest. I dressed in comfortable clothes, made sure to wear my kefia, a symbol of Palestinian solidarity, and grabbed a few handmade signs with messages of peace, justice, and freedom for Palestine. When I arrived at the protest, I was greeted by a sea of people holding flags and signs, chanting for justice and an end to the suffering in Palestine. The atmosphere was charged with emotion anger at the injustices, but also hope and unity. It was incredibly moving to see people from all walks of life coming together for this cause. We marched through the city, our voices echoing off the buildings as we chanted slogans like Free, Free Palestine, and from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. It was empowering to be part of such a large, peaceful movement, knowing that our collective voice was being heard. Throughout the day, we listened to speakers who shared their experiences and knowledge about the situation in Palestine. Their words were both heartbreaking and inspiring, reminding us why we were there and the importance of our solidarity. I was particularly touched by a young Palestinian woman who spoke about her family's struggles and resilience. Her story reminded me of the real human lives behind the headlines. As we marched, I handed out flyers with information on how people could support Palestine beyond the protest. This included donating to reputable charities, boycotting companies that support the occupation, and educating others about the situation. It's crucial to keep the momentum going even after the protest ends. The protest ended with a powerful moment of collective prayer. Standing shoulder to shoulder with my fellow protesters, I felt a profound sense of unity and purpose. We prayed for peace, justice, and freedom for Palestine, asking Allah to guide and protect those suffering. Returning home, I felt a mix of exhaustion and fulfillment. Attending the protest was an emotional and empowering experience. It reinforced my commitment to continue supporting Palestine in any way I can, whether through raising awareness, donating, or simply speaking out, every action counts. Before bed, I offered my Isha prayer and thanked Allah for giving me the strength and opportunity to stand up for justice. I prayed for the people of Palestine, for their safety, and for peace to prevail. Thank you for listening to my experience. Remember, our voices matter, and together we can make a difference. Let's continue to support our brothers and sisters in Palestine and stand up for justice and peace. Until next time, Fiam Man Allah may Allah protect you. Now it's time for practicing. Repeat after Maryam. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. It's Maryam. And today I want to share an important and powerful experience. Attending a protest in support of Palestine. My day began with the peaceful Fajr prayer. Afterward, I read the Quran. and reflected on my intentions for the day. Today, I felt a strong calling to stand in solidarity. With our brothers and sisters in Palestine. By attending a local protest. After breakfast, I prepared myself for the protest.
I dressed in comfortable clothes. Made sure to wear my kefia. A symbol of Palestinian solidarity. And grabbed a few handmade signs. With messages of peace, justice, and freedom for Palestine. When I arrived at the protest, I was greeted by a sea of people holding flags and signs. Chanting for justice and an end to the suffering in Palestine. The atmosphere was charged. With emotion anger at the injustices. But also hope and unity. It was incredibly moving. To see people from all walks of life. Coming together for this cause. We marched through the city. Our voices echoing off the buildings. As we chanted slogans like Free, Free Palestine. And from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. It was empowering. To be part of such a large, peaceful movement. Knowing that our collective voice was being heard. Throughout the day. We listened to speakers who shared their experiences and knowledge. About the situation in Palestine. Their words were both heartbreaking and inspiring. Reminding us why we were there. And the importance of our solidarity. I was particularly touched by a young Palestinian woman. Who spoke about her family's struggles and resilience. Her story reminded me of the real human lives behind the headlines. As we marched. I handed out flyers with information on how people could support Palestine beyond the protest. This included donating to reputable charities, boycotting companies that support the occupation, and educating others about the situation. It's crucial to keep the momentum going. Even after the protest ends. The protest ended with a powerful moment of collective prayer. Standing shoulder to shoulder with my fellow protesters. I felt a profound sense of unity and purpose.
We prayed for peace, justice, and freedom for Palestine. Asking Allah to guide and protect those suffering. Returning home. I felt a mix of exhaustion and fulfillment. Attending the protest was an emotional and empowering experience. It reinforced my commitment to continue supporting Palestine. in any way I can. Whether through raising awareness, donating or simply speaking out. Every action counts. Before bed, I offered my Isha prayer. and thanked Allah for giving me the strength and opportunity to stand up for justice. I prayed for the people of Palestine, for their safety and for peace to prevail. Thank you for listening to my experience. Remember, our voices matter. And together we can make a difference. Let's continue to support our brothers and sisters in Palestine. And stand up for justice and peace. Until next time, Fia Man Allah may Allah protect you. Now let's learn some interesting vocabulary words from the story for better understanding. Here's a vocabulary list that we learn in this story. Let's practice together. Solidarity, unity, or agreement of feeling or action, especially among individuals with a common interest. Example. The protest showed great solidarity among the participants. Protest a public demonstration expressing strong objection to something. Example, the protest was organized to demand justice for Palestine. Chanting repeating a phrase or slogan loudly and rhythmically. Example, the crowd was chanting slogans for freedom. Justice, just behavior or treatment. Fairness. Example. The protest aimed to achieve justice for the people of Palestine. Unity, the state of being united or joined as a whole. Example, there was a sense of unity among the protesters. Empowering, giving someone the authority or power to do something. Example, the protest was an empowering experience for her. Slogans, short and memorable phrases used in advertising or protests. Example, they chanted slogans like free, free Palestine. Resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Example, she admired the resilience of the Palestinian people. Momentum, the impetus gained by a moving object or a course of events. Example, it's important to keep the momentum going after the protest. Collective done by people acting as a group. Example, the collective prayer at the end was very powerful. Great job following our English lesson today. You did well to listen and practice so much. Keep practicing because it helped you get better. Every time you learn, you are closer to speaking English really well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more of our lessons.